right, artists, let's talk about how to draw in one point perspective. By now you've looked at a few examples of drawings in one point perspective, so you probably know how to recognize it, but you may not know how to start a drawing. Any drawing in one point perspective has a horizon line. The horizon line is a perfectly horizontal line across an artwork. Sometimes it's obvious and sometimes it's not. For the purposes of us learning about one point perspective, we're gonna have a horizon line right in the middle of our paper. And in the middle of the horizon line, we're gonna draw a visible dot, which is going to be our vanishing point. All the lines we draw are gonna to go to this point, and that is where they are vanishing in space. They're getting smaller and smaller the further away they get from us. That's what creates the illusion of perspective. So let's start by drawing some boxes in one point perspective. And the first step in doing that is to simply draw a box anywhere on the paper. The hardest part is just making sure that your ruler is straight. There's my box. I want to make this rectangle into a three-dimensional box. Now in order to do that, I need to connect this box to the vanishing point with what are called orthogonal lines. Orthogonal lines are lines that are going to the vanishing point. So because of where my box is located on my paper, I know that these three corners are gonna to connect to the vanishing point. We don't need to connect this one because it's so far away, that line would only be going inside of our box. That's how I know I don't have to draw that one there. So I'm gonna connect these three corners to the vanishing point. You have to make sure that your ruler is lined up with the corner and the vanishing point at the same time. So now I have drawn three orthogonal lines, lines going to the vanishing point. It doesn't quite look like a box just yet. It is, but it's going on and on and on forever and ever and it never ends. If I want this box to be sitting in space, I need to draw the other sides of the box. And to do that, I can draw them anywhere from this vertical line to the vanishing point. So I'm going to make mine about halfway. It's going to be a vertical line parallel to this one. So straight up and down. Has to be straight up and down. It can't be going anywhere else. You can see now these two lines are parallel. Now I need the top of my box. So from this point that I've created here, I'm going to make a horizontal line that is parallel to this line has to be horizontal, can't be going in any other direction. Something like this. Now you can see I have a three-dimensional box and I can erase the orthogonal lines that I no longer need. Now, depending on the way your brain works, some of you might see this as the front of the box, this as the side, and this as the top as if it's just floating in space. Others might see this as the top of the box, this as a side, and this as another side. Therefore, this would be the ground, like it's going down. Either way is totally acceptable. You would draw both drawings in the same way. But for the purposes of this video, we're gonna call this a bird's eye view. A bird's eye view is a view from above. So we are 
looking down at this box. So this would be the top. The bottom is underneath where we can't see. So this is a bird's eye view. Let's draw the opposite of a bird's eye view, which is a worm's eye view. So we're gonna start in the same way. We're gonna start by simply drawing a box. Now I'm up above the horizon line before I was drawing below. So this is my worm's eye view. I'm gonna repeat the same steps as I did for the bird's eye view. But this time I'm just gonna be connecting down to my vanishing point instead of up. So these three corners that are closest to the vanishing point will connect right in the center. This one I know I don't have to connect because that line would be going through the blocks. So those are my orthogonal lines. Now, just like I did before, I'm going to create a vertical line and a horizontal line to end off my box. So my vertical line is going to be parallel to the first line that I drew. And my horizontal line is going to be parallel to the other part of the initial box that I drew. This has to be at a right angle. If it's not, then you know it's wrong. So there's my box in a worm's eye view. I am below the box looking up at it. So this would be the bottom and this time it's the top that we can't see. Now we're gonna draw a box at eye level. If we draw a box on the horizon line, like literally passing through it, that's gonna be at our eye level. Here, I'd only have to connect two corners to the vanishing point because if I drew a line from here, it would go through. And if I drew one here, it would also go through. So this is a little bit easier. I don't have to draw as many lines in an eye level box. And because I can only see one other side, I only need a vertical line that is parallel to the line of my initial box. So now I can erase the horizon line inside of my box because it's sitting in front of it so I can no longer see that. And if I want to, I can erase any of these old orthogonal lines. I'm using a rather dark pencil, so if you don't want these orthogonal lines to show, you should use a lighter pencil. So this is my eye level box. So those are the three different views that you can have in one point perspective. Notice how it always started with a box. From that box, you connect the corners to the vanishing point and then erase any extra orthogonal lines. Every line in this drawing is either perfectly vertical, perfectly horizontal, or orthogonal, which means it's going to the vanishing point. It can't be going in any other direction. So you don't wanna have a box that looks like this. Right? That doesn't make sense. So make sure all of your lines are perfectly vertical, 
horizontal or they're orthogonal.